Hello, it's Jess. Today I'll be sharing my top 10 attractions at Disneyland Paris. Throughout the video, you'll get tips and also fun facts about the rides. At number 10 is the Avengers Assemble Flight Force ride. A roller coaster ride where you are in the Avengers headquarters when missiles heading for Earth are detected and you blast off into space to save planet Earth. It is a retheme of the rock and roller coaster starring Aerosmith, and this roller coaster accelerates from 0 to 57 miles per hour in just 2.8 seconds, and there are also multiple inversions. While I think the theming could be better on this ride, I think the track itself makes it still a great ride for thrill seekers. Don't forget to check out my review of the Avengers Campus in this video. Number 9 is the Star Wars Hyperspace Mountain Ride. Space Mountain was one of my favorite rides as a child, and this would have ranked higher if it wasn't for the Star Wars retheme. This roller coaster is a great thrill ride as well, with three inversions. Out of all of the Space Mountain rides and Disney resorts, this track in Paris is my favorite. With the Star Wars overlay, a lot of the physical props are now replaced with screens, and in this version of the ride, you have to escape the TIE Fighters and destroy a Star Destroyer. Fun fact, this one in Paris is the only Space Mountain to feature inversions and a launch. The cannon you see in the exterior launches riders from 0 to 44 miles per hour in 1.8 seconds. Next up is Le Pays de Contefe, the Land of Fairy Tales ride. I feel like this ride is a hidden gem and is not to be missed. This wonderful slow boat ride is where you pass amazingly detailed miniature models of scenes from the iconic Disney movies. It has a wonderful relaxing atmosphere with music and lovely landscaping. We always make time to go and normally the queue is very short. It's a great ride for when you want a break from the hustle and bustle of the parks. At number 7 is Crush's Coaster. A fantastic thrill ride, this roller coaster takes you through the epic Finding Nemo scenes as you ride through in a turtle shell. I just love how the turtle shell spins as you go through the ride. This attraction is unique to Disneyland Paris and is a lot of fun, so I would definitely recommend going on it. Top tip, this is a very popular ride, so if you don't have that much time, it's worth going on the single rider queue because it'll be quicker. Moving on to one of Disney's most iconic rides. At number 6, it's the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. It's also a dark ride, but on this boat ride, you join Captain Jack Sparrow on his quest for treasure. On your journey, you'll see super realistic animatronic characters, which is really cool. The original version of this ride opened in Disneyland in Anaheim, California in 1967, and it still remains a super popular ride. It's so popular that it is in 5 of the 6 Disney resorts. It is just such a shame it's not in the Hong Kong Disneyland. My first time on this ride was when I was 3 years old, and it is still one of my favorites. The theming and atmosphere is excellent. It's also a great one for fans of the Pirates of the Caribbean movie franchise. Also, there are two drops on this ride. Only Paris and the California Park have two drops. Fun fact, one of Walt's original ideas for this ride was for it to be a walkthrough wax museum attraction. At number 5 is Peter Pan's Flight. Peter Pan's Flight Ride is an attraction that is not to be missed. It features in 5 of the 6 Disney resorts. It is a dark ride where you are seated on a flying pirate ship and you'll see the iconic scenes from the movie and soar over London and Neverland. I've always thought that this ride is super magical from the way it's designed. The queues can get quite long though, so I recommend going during extra magic hours as the queue time is around 10 minutes. Extra magic hour is one of the benefits of staying in the Disney hotels as you can enter the parks before the official park opening times. Don't forget to check out my review of the Newport Bay Club Hotel in Disneyland Paris. I'll leave a link at the end of the video. At number 4, it's Buzz Lightyear Laser Blast. The original version of this attraction opened at Magic Kingdom in Walt Disney World in November 1998, and it's a family-friendly ride that is very popular. It definitely gets you into the competitive spirit. This is an interactive dark ride where you are helping Buzz in a battle against the evil Emperor Zerg by using your infrared laser space cannons to shoot at targets. Who will get the most points? Fun fact, there is a joystick on your cruiser and you can spin the cruiser 360 degrees, which is super fun. And here's a tip for you, the queue times for this ride is a lot shorter at the end of the day. So we went just before the park closed, literally minutes before, and there's no queue. On to number 3, the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. This is definitely a thrill ride that is not to be missed. First, you enter into the beautifully themed abandoned lobby of the infamous Hollywood Tower Hotel. And the story is that the disappearance of fat people in the elevator forced the hotel to close in 1939. 
Your journey into the fifth dimension is via a service elevator. So once seated, you are launched upwards and the elevator will also free fall down and change directions up and down when you least expect it. There's also a nice surprise waiting for you when you're 13 stories up. Fun fact, this ride was reimagined in 2019 and now there are actually free Twilight Zone storylines for this ride, so definitely worth going on it several times. These storylines are unique to Disneyland Paris. The staff can be very theatrical and it's a thrilling, exciting and fun ride. And here's another fun fact for you. The Twilight Zone Tower of Terror ride is based on the popular television series which originally aired from 1959 to 1964. If you have Disney Plus, they have a behind the attractions episode for this ride and it's super interesting. And on to number two, it's Ratatouille the Adventure. This is a 4D trackless dark ride where you'll experience life from the perspective of Remy dashing through Gusteau's restaurant. The theming is fantastic and is not to be missed for those who love the movie Ratatouille. With the blend of the screens and physical scenery, like being in a massive fridge and surrounded by the oversized everyday objects, it really feels like you are in the Ratatouille movie. Top tip! This is a popular ride so I recommend going during extra magic hour when the park first opens as there's either no queue or it's just 5 minutes. And finally we reveal the number one attraction. For me it's the Big Thunder Mountain ride. It's a roller coaster ride in a runaway mine train. There's dips and sharp turns and I think the theming is excellent. It is a classic ride and it's in 4 of the Disney resorts. A great thrill ride for the family. The attraction in Paris is extra special as it is the only Big Thunder Mountain ride situated on an island and to reach it the train goes through a tunnel under the rivers of the far west in the park's frontier land. Tip, this is definitely an attraction to ride during the day and in the evening. There's just a really different atmosphere when you ride it at different times of the day so I really really recommend it. Thanks for watching! Do you agree with this list? I'd love to hear your thoughts so do leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe for future videos!